Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you Cancer. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. This is for the Cancer friends out there. What can I get for Cancer? What is the love intuitive message? What is the love intuitive advice for the Cancer friends out there, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Um, for guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support myself, my channel, and um, my team, please go to the description box below because in there you will find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please, if you are in that platform. Check out the website. In the website, you'll find three three new products. It is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get I will give you a free reading. All right. And also, Cancer, we have created a playlist for you. So if you would like to access the full January 2021 love reading, general situation reading, um, if you're a single um cancer and you're looking for new love opportunity we also have uploaded that um that video reading it is all in the description box below okay it is a playlist of what we have uploaded um recently for the month of 2021 of january okay for january 2021 month and um all of the readings here it is timely timeless Okay, if you're drawn to click the reading, the video, whether it's because of the image or the title, then I really wish that there's something, there's a message for you here that would, um, that would assist your worries and concern, okay? So in today's weekly reading, Cancer, we will be looking at the past situation, past energy, the blockages, the current energy, the energy of the person who's coming towards you or connecting with you, the predictive outcome and advice, depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there is a need to extend the reading, okay? So let's start the reading, Cancer. In the past position, you have the Magician card in upright position, okay? And then you've got the Five of Pentacles. This is a completely um, a turn-on, turn-off scenario, okay? You were enamored, you were completely taken aback. You know, you were complete magician card. This is magical. This is um, this is more than what you have expected. This is magical. This is fantasy. It feels so surreal. Okay. It doesn't feel like it's real. Um, the situation in the past, you were involved in a person, in a love situation, in a relationship where it was perfect. It was, it was perfect, magic. It was magic. It was perfect. It was the relationship that you want. It was the person that you want. It was everything that you ever wanted. Perfect. It's like magic, okay? And then for some turn of events, this magic, this perfect, this wonderful thing that was given to you, connecting with you, this wonderful person that you're loving in love or connecting with, it went to the Five of Pentacles. From something great to something sour, Five of Pentacles, they have abandoned you or you have abandoned them, okay? And uh, the Sun card in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse position, you were not happy on how this magical, this greatness of feelings, investment, relationship you have is just going to go down, down the hill, down the hole, into something unexpected, okay? Because the sun card, you're not happy. You're not happy for whatever the outcome is, whatever the the ending or the, the, the last conversation. You know, something is not quite what you expected. Magical, they abandon you. It resulted to unhappiness. Not happy, not accepting it. This is not the the expected outcome you know if for some of you it was a petty quarrel and it you know a simple issue a petty quarrel has crashed this amazing this beautiful connection magical beautiful okay something of a small issue has smashed your 
relationship connection or getting to know. For some of you, um, I don't see any third party in here. Um, there's no five of swords, seven of swords, or three of swords in here. I don't see any betrayal in here. Um, I see a lot of immaturity that you, you both, you know, you both acted like little kids. You and this person didn't act like an adult. You didn't have an adult talking. Um, Five of Pentacles, someone was so eager to, someone was surrendered right away, you know. They give you the moon, the star, and they surrendered so quickly with one challenge or this petty challenge, you know, it could be related to money for some of you, or it could be related for some of you. I'm getting like pregnancy. You know, you were sleeping together. You know, it's for some of you, a responsibility, a quarrel, a misunderstanding, a responsibility that, um, you know, for example, this person made you pregnant. You were in love together. This person made you pregnant and they run away abandon you for some of you you are so in love and then the other person um was having difficulty hardship with money with finances and the other person pull away so it's it's a feeling of when everything was good when i was you know it's it's a feeling cancer where when i was in my glory glory when i was slim sexy beautiful you're in love with me and then i had some issue with finances or maybe i got fat and then you escape. Where is the love? Okay. It's something superficial. It's something like you didn't expect that this person was so in love with you would abandon you, would make you feel this way. This is the least of what you expected. You thought, you thought they were in love. You thought there was magic. This you you thought there was something great, but with one issue, there is an issue, there's a misunderstanding, there's a block whatever it is, it's something you don't expect them to surrender. Because you know? magician card, you gave me the moon, the star, the promise of a lifetime. And then for just because I'm poor now, or I lost my job, or I become pregnant, or you've got, a, you know, you've got some more responsibility with me now, you surrender. So it's not fair. You know, it is a feeling of, um, um, it, when it was great it was great and then for some sort of for for when there was a problem they surrender someone surrendered it's it's a definition of character you know because being in love this magician you know it's it's staying in love is the it's the hardest part you know loving liking romanticizing each other that is so easy you know it is cloud nine if you're both in love, you like each other, you're connecting. It's so easy to celebrate that every day, that love, that happiness, that cloud nine feeling. And then the universe strike you a deal, a challenging deal, a block. Then you realize this is where the true character, the true nature of this connection, and it didn't survive. Eight of Cups in reverse, you would like to review, you would like to revisit it. What? went wrong what made you and me surrender you've you've got a lot of questions what made you and me surrender what can i do to make it better i want to review i want to revisit there's something there's part of you cancer where you're kind of thinking we've got this greatness why did you abandon me and our kids and your responsibility to a husband or as a or as a wife or why did you, why did you abandon me this thing can be resolved why you you acted so great, so promising, and yet for a small issue, you did not survive. You know, you can't believe something would lead this way, okay? Um, when you're in love, you're freaking in love. When you are connecting, it's great. You also expect them that when it comes to challenge, they would stay. But that's the, but that's the issue, is that someone was weak. Falling in love is great, but when it comes to the challenges, that's where the character, the trueness, um, that's where you discover, you've discovered it. And, um, it's weak, you know, that it's, it's not, it's, it, what makes up, um, a great relationship, a solid connection is that if you stay together, both in love and both in the struggle, in the blockage, because you could be in love every day, but with one issue like this, 
it wouldn't survive. That's not a good thing. That's not a good sign. And this is what you discover. How come you promised me the, you know, the moon, the stars, and then for some reason you detach, you detach, you detach, you, you, you quickly withdraw. So lots of questions, lots of things you say or saying or messaging them, but eight of cups, you know, you would like to return. You would like to be, to remind this person of the love. You're reminding this person of the love. Rem you're reminiscing the love. How come we have this strong connection, connection, and yet we didn't survive it? Um, in the current energy, you've got the world card, the seven of wands. You're stuck. This connection and this person is stuck. It's stuck because you guys are open to talk. Um, there's an open situation here. The world card, the seven of wands. None of you is making the move. None of you is really talking to the exact issue or error. None of you is acting adult, you know, adult talking. It's stuck. It's it's stuck. It, there's no update. It hasn't evolved, although there is an open opportunity to fix it. You know, seven of wands, you can fix it. They can fix it. It's open, but none of you are making a move. So the world between the two of you, it's stuck. The world of love is stuck. The world of love and you and them, it is stuck. It's unresolved. It's unfinished business. Temperance card. This two of cups is pending. Four of swords, you are sleeping. They're sleeping. One of you is not making an effort to confirm, to conclude, to say bye-bye, to give a closure. None of you, one, none of you or both, both, none of you or both of you or one of you is definitely stuck is not wanting an ending they don't know how to end they don't know how to be an adult to talk about this pending two of cups there's something great that you started one thing is for sure there's something great that you started and then the emperor card in reverse the seven of pentacles the queen of wands the death card again another card of unfinished business unfinished business unresolved mystery unresolved love mystery the emperor card the seven of pentacles one of you someone will reach out someone will reach out someone will reach out and say i'm very sad i miss you why this happened to us could be it could be them um, but one of you will reach out one of you will talk one of you will do the move and talk about seven of pentacles we invested so much in each other and yet we still ended up breaking, separating, or we're not okay. We're not, in, why we are not okay? Why we break up with this investment and the love and the passion? Why this happened to us? Something is not clear, okay? Something is not clear between you and this person. Something needs to, needs to come out, Queen of Wands. And I see you and this person not resolving it in a drama way, okay? You can resolve it in a very... Um, because Queen of Wands is a social butterfly, okay? If you and this person talk in the future and the talk, the tone of voice is blaming, is, is blaming, is pointing finger, and if, if the talk, if the flow of conversation is still immature, this wouldn't work in your favor, in their favor, love will not win. But if you, the predictive advice is that if you and this person will talk like friends, if you and this person will consider the love, the feelings, it, if you would cling on in optimism, if one of you will promote optimism, you know, flirt, flirt, optimism, then this has a chance. This has a shot. Okay. Um, and if the you know you have because this is your reading i see you being advised to take the high road be friendly be chatty do not blame you know things has happened in the past you cannot change that in in the current energy you and this person is obviously one thing to you know to to regroup to clear something that you don't understand why you feel so in love in spite of everything why do you still feel this way in spite of everything that happens you know and one of you, in the immediate future, one of you is kind of thinking, Seven of Pentacles, that was worth that investment. You, you feel like um, it would be wasted. It would be a waste, um, a waste of investment if you didn't try. 
And then Queen of Wands, you know, you need to be friends again. You need to be friendly again. If you talk in a friendly manner, in something optimistic, not drama, not immaturity, then the ending would be different. The love miracle will be activated. Something worst can turn out to be the best. It is in your power, okay? The love miracle will happen, okay? So good luck to you. May you take over when the chance that you and this person talk again. May you be friendly. May you be, if you love this person, if you like this person, allow love, allow, allow love, remove bitterness, forget about the past, be the queen of wands, be friendly, be open, not judgmental, be open to it. Be open to at least be friendly or romantic and love miracle will happen. It wouldn't end bad, okay? You have the power to do it, okay? So thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is your reading. I hope you like the reading. If you do, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell and I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.